I know it looks like I'm talking to everyone, but I think this person's kind of important. Ada. What do you want with me, stranger? Please just leave me be. You're too young to have gone deaf. Please just get out of here. Leave me be. Oh. So much for the important thing. I can't... Oh, it's even bigger than I remember, actually. Who are you? Oh, hello. You that swordsman who arrived alongside Dogie, no? No. The name's Harold. I'm a local merchant. Pretty good one, too. Oh, yeah. Don't bloody pat yourself on the back too much, will ya? Redmond is known for a local ore called Ravel, and I'm one of the best Ravel salesmen there is. Or I was, anyway, until all this mess in the quality, quality what came about. The accident, the monsters, the closure edict. Sure, it'd be nice if, you, if this could all get sold down so I could start making a living again. Nope. Oh, what a crap room this is. No one's here. Might as well talk to everyone. We're just starting the game. Oh god, it's Scrooge. So Dogie, so Dogie came back after hearing all the nasty rumours about Felgara, did he? That's all well and good, but he's still just up and left us eight years ago. And I don't forgive and forget so easily. Besides, just monsters. My day, he fought much bigger beasts using nothing but tree branches. For fun! Mayor Edgar's got the right idea. He's at the quarry with my son, checking up on some weird monument we unearthed. Not gonna let the court... Not gonna let the count... For, or a few piddly monsters tell him what to do. No, sir, we miners are tough. We can take care of ourselves. Count McGuire's just being a damn tyrant, trying to close the place. Stuff. Go on, then. Hey, I found Mr. Red. Amazing. Elena told me your hair was super red like fire. More like blood, actually. And I didn't believe her, but she was right. You want to play a game with Mr. Adol? Daddy's gone to the coin and just so bored. It's hide and seek. Do you want to play or what? No, fine. What is this silly place? No one lives here. No one does. An empty house, ripe for the taking. Now, if this isn't just an important looking house, what an obvious illusory wall. Oh, yeah, there she is. Oh, good morning, Adol. Oh, there's a bird up there, in your house. It might poop on you when you're sleeping. Is Dogie not with you today? Adol explained that Dogie had gone to visit his old master in the Elder Mountains. Oh, that's... well, it's not very nice of him, to be honest. He hasn't even shown you around yet. But that's Dogie for you. Eight years ago, he suddenly decided he simply had to go on a journey of self-discovery to become a man, he said. I wasn't fond of the idea myself, but Chester sternly opposed it. The two of them got into quite a scuffle. Hang on a minute. Okay, good, it's all fine. Let's check in the footage. They did make up right after Dogie was about to leave, though. Uh -huh. Oh, you changed sides. To be honest, I have something I need to tell Dogie. Remember yesterday when I said Chester was out of town? Well, that's true, but he actually hasn't been back in over six months. He left a note for me on the day he vanished. It's just it just said I won't be back for a while. I haven't heard anything from him at all since then, not a word. Well, it'd kinda of be hard to from that far away, wherever he is. I'm not sure how to tell Dogie after he came all this way. Sorry, I didn't mean to dump all my apprehensions on you. It's alright, I don't mind you dumping on me. Yeah I do. When he gets back, I guess I'll just have to give it to him straight. Well, yeah, it is male and female, that's a straight thing. Now, if you were male, it would be a gay. Right, whatever. I'm sure Dogie will take the news well. After all, he's seen and done with you. As well as he can, anyway. Yeah. Oh, bye then. Was that it? We've got some info. Oh, church. Oh, hello, I don't believe we met. None. That's a good name. Which means you must be Adol, that friend of Dogie's I've been hearing so much about. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Nell, and I'm a devotee of the church. Sister Nell? She's not my sister. Is it true that you saved Elena from a pack of wild monsters? Well, I don't know if they were wild. They might have been someone's pets let loose. Words well, when I express how thankful we are for that. 
Apparently they can, because they just did. I've purged myself to this church for many a year. Why don't you just say many years? And have known the Stoddart's children since they were very little. They've always regarded me as a big sister to them. Sister with a small S, that is. What? And I've always regarded them in kind, which is why my tra which is why traumatic events like last night's unpleasantness affect me so. Oh, you must be at all. Well, stop moving sides. It's nice to meet you. I'm Father Jean Pierre. Pierre, you little bug. Pastor of this church. Alanis had quite a lot to say about you. I understand you're the one who saved her when she was ambushed by a pack of monsters. For that, I must truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm certain Elena had her reasons for going out so late. She denied of any, of course, claiming it was just a flight of fancy, but I feel there's more to it than that. If I pressure her to tell me things she wishes to hide, though, I can see no good coming out of it. Ah, but I digress. Please forgive me. This is our very first meeting, and here I am babbling away. May God's blessing be with you in your travels. If anything ever troubles you, always remember the church's doors are open. Come by any time, day or night. I will not, because it's boring. Oh no, Pickards. Sharp! And that's all of the buildings, good. But what? Oh shit, what's going on? What is going on here? How many were there? Oh, closed eyes. It's Brock. No, it isn't. Oh, I'm not sure, but there are definitely a lot. More than I've ever seen before. Fuck's going on, let me intrude. What's going on? Figures. I promised vast quantities of ravel ore to my backers. I shall up in the land of ravel and everything goes to hell. What's going on? Who are you? Adol introduced himself and asked what was happening. Wait. What the hell? You can't hear it, but the shop music is playing extremely quietly. Why? Uh, yeah, ask him what was happening. The monster started gushing out of one of the deep mine shafts in the Tigray Quarry. Just that's east of east of here. That's east of here. We only just barely made it out of there alive. But Mayor Edgar's still inside. This is so Dewey. Oh no. Where's Huey and Louie? Sure. That's the head miner. Asked me to go into town and get some help. Anybody who's willing and able. <laughs> me. Doggy could do this job easily, but he left town a short while ago. Probably too far away to track him down now. I can't go myself either since I'm the only one trained in defensive combat around here. I've got to guard the town. It's a good job a swordsman just arrived. Adol, I hate to ask, but we could really use your strength. That's not asking, that's just saying something. And now that is a question. Would you put your adventurous skills to use for us and check out the quarry in my place? Yes, please. It'd mean a great deal to me as well. The mayor, Dewey, and even... Even Paul. They're in grave danger right now. I'm not in danger. Because I'm Adol. Thanks so much for this. I can't even imagine how to repay you. Wait, I think Paul was anus mouth. What? Oh, you'll see. We're in your dirt, Adol. Here, I've got the map of Felgana. You might need it. Oh, la, 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 yum, 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 yum. That was well tasty. You should also make sure you're well prepared, as it sounds like you'll be fighting some monsters in there. I only got ten gold. Take this and use it to get your equipment refined. Bling, 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 bling. That's not money. Oh, that's money. Fifty? Is that a guard's wage? Go talk to Adonis, the town's smithy. Tell him I sent you, or he probably won't give you the time of day. He's a stubborn one, but he knows how to pound metal like nobody's business. Oh, pound it. Does he lube it up first? Uh, yeah. Your equipment in good hands with him. Your equipments. I do hate asking you to put your life at risk for us, but we need you right now. Show us what you're made of, adventurer. Oh, I will. Oi, Dark Adonis. Oh, it's you again. Doesn't matter how many times you talk to me, I pick and choose my own clientele, and I do not choose you! I'm not Pikachu. Adol relayed Gardner's message. You serious? Gardner sent you? Guess that means you'll take good care of my work, if nothing else. Well, if Gardner says you're good news, then you're good news. Gotta do what the old guy asks. I can augment your sword, armor, and shield here. Just hand them over and I'll make them better. 
uh, if you've got enough ravel ore for the job anyway. Monsters often get it stuck in their fur. What? Or claws and will drop it when killed, or sometimes it's just lying around. I'll have to charge you a service fee too though, or else Cynthia's gonna put up a fuss like you wouldn't believe. Uh, the price varies per piece as we've got this whole quality chart system in place. Don't ask me, it was her idea. I don't care, just do it. So what have you got for me? Part of my clientele now, adult Kristen. How did you know my second name? So feel free to come on by any time you need work done. Yes. <laughs> Boy, look, I've got enough dosh for all of them. Biddly bing. Oh, oh no, I need more ravel ore. Bye then. I ain't got enough dosh for anything. What a day. Right, I'm going out now. Bye. Oh yes, it begins, finally. No spoilers. Because I already did that. Oh, lovely. What a loud game. <laughs> 